Hi students, as a part of uh, engineering chemistry first unit that is molecular structure and theories of bonding. Today I am going to explain about the shapes of molecular orbitals via destructive interference. So before watching this particular video, please do watch the two videos. I urge you to watch the two videos. The one video is the shapes of molecular orbitals via constructive interference. And the second one is, second one is the destructive interference. Because in that particular video, I have explained very clearly what exactly is constructive and uh, destructive interference. And the link of uh, these two videos is provided in the description box. Please do watch that video in order to understand this particular video very clearly. Right. So let us dive into this particular video. So before going to see the shapes of the molecular orbitals via destructive interference, already I have said, already I have said that uh, very clearly I have explained in one of the video what exactly is the destructive interference. But as a recap, I will, I will define the destructive interference. Just I will define the destructive interference. What is destructive interference? When the two waves will move away from each other, that particular interference is called as destructive interference. So in the case of destructive interference, the two waves will move away from each other. Will move away from each other. So in this case, the two orbitals will move away from each other. Right? And here, in this particular shapes of the molecular orbitals via destructive interference. I'm going to use the positive sign and the negative sign. Positive sign means top face and negative sign means bottom face. Negative sign means bottom face. And one more thing is, very important thing is, during this particular destructive interference, Anti-bonding molecular orbitals are going to be formed. And why anti-bonding the molecular orbitals are going to be formed during the destructive interference? I have clearly explained in that particular video. Right. So let us discuss the shapes of uh, molecular orbitals via destructive interference. So first let us take uh, 1s atomic orbital combining with another 1s atomic orbital 1s atomic orbital combined with another 1s atomic orbital right so positive already said uh, positive means top face positive means top face negative means bottom face right now, as it is a destructive interference, what will happen, students? The wave will move away from each other, right? So, here is the positive means. So, definitely here comes the negative because they are moving from each other as it is a destructive interference. So, negative, positive. So, 1s atomic orbital combined with another 1s atomic orbital results in the formation of molecular orbital and always the s orbital will undergo undergo which overlapping axial overlapping will undergo axial overlapping will undergo axial overlapping students undergo axial overlapping now here what happens is they will move away from each other they will move away from each other so this is how they look like that. This is how they look. So positive, don't be confused. Positive here. I negative on the left side. So negative on the left side. So negative. negative and positive 
and already have discussed very clearly that uh, during the destructive interference which type of molecular orbital is going to be formed student anti bonding molecular orbital and anti bonding molecular orbital is denoted by star right denoted by star so this is sigma star 1s sigma star 1s why sigma because always the axial overlapping results in the formation of the sigma bond and is there any nodal plane student yes there is a nodal plane and uh, this is how the nodal plane is possible the nodal plane is possible right so this is one of the molecular orbital this is one molecular orbital Already have discussed atomic orbitals combine to form the molecular orbital, which is the first postulate of molecular orbital theory. So coming to the second. So let us take a 2PZ. Let us take a 2PZ. So this is 2PZ. 2p z 2p z right so positive negative so what is positive what is negative already i have explained so as it is destructive interference both will move in the opposite direction here is positive means definitely it will be negative so here it is negative means it is and what is this overlapping students? Because as both are in the horizontal direction, the overlapping is action. Action, right? Action. If both are vertical, then it is lateral overlapping or sideways overlapping. But in the case of 2PZ atomic orbitals, both are horizontal. Since both are horizontal, they undergo axial overlapping only, resulting in the formation of sigma bond only because always the actual overlapping results in the formation of sigma bond right so this is actual overlapping students same actual overlapping right actual overlapping so now what happens is this will shrink This will shrink and this will broaden. Right? I hope you got it. So in the similar fashion, this slope, this half lobe will shrink. And the second half of the slope will broaden. broaden. So don't be confused in the signs. So it is positive only. So positive. And where is the positive? Here. And here, positive is on the second part of the lobe. Second half of the lobe. So since it is positive, it is negative. Since it is positive, it is negative. Right? And are we finding any sort of nodal plane before that? What is the name of this? As it is resulted by the actual overlapping, definitely it results in the formation of sigma. Sigma. And as it is a destructive interference, it results in the formation of what? Anti-bonding molecular orbital, which is denoted by star. Sigma star 2p z. Sigma star 2p z. And so this is the molecular orbital strand which is resulted by the overlap or combination of the two 2pz atomic orbitals right is there a nodal plane yes there is a nodal plane passing from here yes i hope you got it so coming to the third one let us see the lateral overlap lateral overlap so let us take the 2px atomic orbital combine or overlap with the same 2px atomic orbital positive 
positive right so since it is positive it will be negative because it is destructive interference and at as it is positive it is negative and as it is negative the second half of the lobe is positive and what is the name of this atomic orbital strength it is 2p x overlaps or combines with another 2p x and uh, can you guess which type of overlapping it is definitely it is lateral overlapping because in the case of 2p x atomic orbitals uh, they are present in the vertical position and vertically definitely they undergo the lateral overlapping only lateral overlapping lateral overlapping so what happens here is so all will move away from each other every half of the lobe will move away from each other or every lobe will move away from each other so positive will move away Next, this negative will move away. This negative will move away. This positive will move away. Because it is destructive interference. And what is destructive interference? Waves uh, will move in the, in the opposite map. In the opposite map. And don't be confused with the six sign strengths. It is positive right and what about this it is positive what about this negative negative and what about this negative and which type of bond which type of molecular orbital is going to be resulted as it is a lateral overlapping, lateral overlapping means what students? It is sideway overlapping, always sideway or lateral overlapping results in the formation of pi bond. So it is pi star, it is pi star 2px, pi star 2px, which is resulted by the combination or uh, which is resulted by the lateral overlapping of the two 2px atomic orbitals two 2px atomic orbitals are there any nodal planes yes they are one is passing from here and another one is passing from here so the number of nodal plane is 1 in the case of the first that is sigma star 1 is and in the case of sigma star 2pz the number of nodal plane is also 1 whereas in the case of pi star 2px number of nodal planes is 2 right I hope you got it students so once again what is the destructive interference the interference the interference due to the opposite direction that is when the two waves will move in the opposite direction then that particular interference is called as destructive interference and do remember that always the actual overlapping results in the formation of sigma molecular orbital whereas lateral overlapping results in the formation of uh, of uh, pi molecular orbital and uh, one more important point is during this particular destructive interference anti-bonding molecular orbital is going to be formed and why anti-bonding molecular orbital is going to be formed during the destructive interference i have clearly explained in one of my video and uh, the link of that particular, particular video is provided in the description please do watch that particular video in order to get the information why the anti-bonding molecular orbital is going to be formed during the 
destructive interference. And the last one is, let us combine or overlap dxy, dxy. So this is one dxy atomic orbital combines with another dxy atomic orbital. So let us see the sign students. So positive, positive on the top side. So as it is a destructive interference, as positive, positive or on the right side, on the left or on the left side of this. So the positive positive will be at the below half of this particular dxy which is another atomic orbital so it is negative negative so the upper part will be negative negative because it is destructive interference so both will overlap in the opposite manner so both are oriented vertically. So since both are oriented vertically, which type of overlapping is possible students? Uh, lateral overlapping is possible. So lateral overlapping, lateral overlapping, lateral overlapping. So one will shrink, the first one will shrink, all will move away. Because it is a destructive interference, one will shrink, another gets broadened, one will shrink, another gets broadened, one will shrink, another gets broadened, one will shrink, another gets broadened. Broaden. What is it? Don't be confused with the sign students. It is positive. So positive, it is positive, so positive, right? So now where are the positives again? At the lower, this part. So what about this? What about this student? This is negative, 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 right? And Positive, positive, negative, negative. So what about this? Negative, 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 positive, 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 positive. Now as it is a lateral overlapping results in the formation of which type of molecular orbital? It results in the formation of pi molecular orbital and as it is the destructive interference it results in the formation of anti-bonding pi molecular orbital that is pi star pi star dx y which is the molecular orbital are there any nodal planes definitely there are two nodal planes one is passing from here, another one is passing from here. So there are two nodal plates. I hope you understood this topic, student. This is about uh, the shapes of molecular orbitals via destructive interference. So thanks for watching.